unmute. Yes, good evening and welcome to another episode of the Grace Podcast. Yeah. Uh, my name is Tafara and this is my beautiful Hello wife. Hello everyone. <laughs> and together we are the Butais. That's my introduction. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Let, if you're watching, let us know how that introduction went. Let us know if we could change it or if it's okay. <laughs> it's a little cheesy, but you know, that's, that's, yeah, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm working with uh, at this moment. Well, tonight we are excited because we're going to be that's talking awesome. about everything uh, grace. The mm-hmm. Bible tells us uh, in Second uh, Peter 1, in fact, mm-hmm. let me read it. Let's go to Second Peter mm-hmm. chapter number 1. I want to read it. It says, uh, grace can and, and peace can be multiplied uh, through something that is very powerful. Second Peter uh, chapter number 1, verse 2, it says, may grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God Amen. and of Jesus our Lord. Man, I'm telling you, when you start Amen. to have a revelation of Jesus and what he came and did for us, man, there's going to be such a multiplication of God's grace on your life. There's also going to be such a multiplication of his peace, his shalom. Uh, and, And if there's a time we all need the supernatural peace of God, it is right now. Amen. 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 And so we are so excited that you could join us uh, tonight. You want to welcome we, everybody? Can we just greet a few people online? Online. Good Let's see who's evening. here. Today I said good evening. I didn't say good morning. Good evening. Yes. <laughs> so on our, on faithilchurch.co.za, on our very own live streaming channel on our website, we've got Pastor Villa who's joined us all the way from Durban. Hello. She said, good evening, Butais. <laughs> I like that <laughs> one. Durban. Awesome, awesome. And then on Facebook, we've got the Tari, we've got Carol, we see you. Sabelo, Sunita, hello, we see you too. Hi, Annaline, we see you. And Odian, who says, good evening, family. And then last but not least, we're also on YouTube. Am I going there quickly? YouTube. On YouTube. Oh, wait a minute. I see YouTube. you on YouTube. I see myself on you're, YouTube. You're live. And okay. I, I don't know how that works. Okay, that's a bit <laughs> odd. But good evening to you good all. Good evening, everybody. Um, once again, you know, a reminder that this is absolutely an interactive session. Come on. So feel free to interact. Feel free to comment. Absolutely feel free to post your questions because our guest speaker <laughs> will Man, be answering be all of your questions. Yeah, so yeah, it's going to be he's, absolutely. He's He's got all the answers. He's got all the answers. (laughs) All the the questions will go to him. So get excited. So tonight, uh, we have our special guest with us, a good friend of ours, uh, him and his wife. Man, they're just so lovely. They're awesome people. It's really difficult sometimes in ministry to come across people who are authentic, Mm. who are genuine, who are the same people that you see in the pulpit. You see them, Mm. you know, outside of the pulpit. And these guys are like that. They just, you know, what you see is what you get. There is no pretense or... I mean, they're not phony, you know. A lot of preachers sometimes get a little (laughs) phony, and I mean, it irks me the wrong way. So tonight, uh, Stuart Agnew, did I say that right? You did, hey? Stu, we call him Stu. Come on. And Stu is the pastor of the tribe church right here in Johannesburg in Ramsey. That's right. And uh, they've been going for the last 14 and a half years. I was sharing with Stu earlier on, and I was saying, man, if you could go beyond or past the 10-year barrier, mm. you are the real deal. Because a lot of people fall off in year <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, Amen. some in nine. But if you can break through the 10-year barrier, even with podcasts, yeah, absolutely. they say if you can yeah. get 10 podcasts yeah. out there, you are probably going to yeah. be uh, making yeah. a lot more podcasts. So, absolutely. man, we're excited about absolutely. what you wow, have to share with Thank us. So you. welcome, first of all, hey. uh, to the show. Thank you for coming. Uh, again, <laughs> we are the Butais. <laughs> yeah, we are the Butais. <laughs> yep. And uh, what do you have to share with us tonight, well, you, Stu? You get three kinds of news. In right. the world, good news, bad news, and the egg news. Ah, egg news. Uh, oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, good news, I'm going to remember that one. Egg, egg news. news. Yeah, egg no. news. Forget that. So egg it's news. such a privilege yeah. uh, for me to be with you guys. And um, I, I can just say the same thing of connecting hearts with you guys has been absolutely delightful. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the best gift 
God gives us as people. Amen. And uh, you guys have been delightful to unwrap and discover. Wow. And uh, mm-hmm. so we really do. We so appreciate Jen and I. So we both lead the church. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I, I, you know that you can't do this on your own. And um, yeah. it's been amazing 14 and a half years. Uh, I think the best years of our lives and the worst years of our lives. I think <laughs> being in ministry uh, is amazing. You have your absolute highs, absolute lows. Yeah. Yeah. But I think when you discover grace, then everything changes. Come on. Uh, you no longer become a victim of other people's behavior, choices. You become uh, a recipient of God's goodness and yes. uh, he matures you through all the things. And so it's been such a delight, you know, Praise to be God. in ministry, to discover grace. Uh, man, it's just been so refreshing. Oh, man, and, it's awesome. Because I think if you don't, uh, I, I find that if people have been Christians for a long time and they, they don't understand grace, they become more cynical, yeah. Yeah. more bitter, more um, inflexible. Yeah. But I think when you discover grace, you become more hungry, more happier, uh, more peaceful, as you were saying Come earlier. Come and uh, because we, we're in a constant flow of life, you know, Come so, so uh, it is so delightful. You I know? mean, the grace of God makes us better. Come on. You know, I've, I've always wondered. Uh, when you preach grace so much like we do, you know, people always accuse you of, uh, you know, giving people a license to, to sin. But man, grace, grace makes you uh, 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 want to live right for God. Come grace on. actually empowers you uh, to, to walk the path that's uh, 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 ordained by the righteousness of God yeah. gift that Jesus has already given us. Absolutely. So grace is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think what you're saying there is, true I, I was you know preparing for tonight it's such an honor to just to share this and i mean i'm really trusting that people would hear words but it won't be the same words it'll come have on. anointing on it Amen. it'll break things off them and it'll establish Amen. them in the true grace of god come on and i think that's what's happened over so many years is if you have a mixture of grace when you start out in mm. your foundation you end up wobbling yeah. come on because you don't yeah. have a pure grace mm. if you don't have a good foundation of grace but you try and add pure grace on it you still wobble yeah. yeah so what you were saying earlier is to grow in grace it's mm. to awesome. you know it's almost like people have been That's born awesome. again and then they come into a revelation of true grace it feels like mm. they get born again again come on and um and then you do find some people that what you're saying is true you know uh, 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 a, a revelation of grace i get to live like i want to mm. and, and you realize what grace does it's almost like uh, Rob Rufus, who's a great friend of ours, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he's, he's I my Rob. spiritual father. You know, yeah. I love that man and him and, and um, Glenda. Uh, Glenda is just so amazing. But it's like going into your attic and switching on a torch. Yeah. And then you say, look what the light brought, all this dirt and rats. Uh, no, th- no, Grace didn't bring it. It just revealed <laughs> yeah, it so you on. can deal Amen. with it in the presence of a loving, merciful, Amen. kind God. Come on. And there can be any cleanup stuff, but you can't use the light as an excuse to live Amen. the way you used to before wow. you came into a relationship with Sweet. Jesus. Wow, that's awesome. Because Sweet. Grace is powerful. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not a license. When you said uh, Grace is a license to sin, we should actually start saying Grace is a license to win. Oh, Come on. I can good. overcome, I, like I can break through, through, I can find the fullness of the cross yeah. breaking forth in my life so I can genuinely have everything God has for me. Man, that's awesome because when I tried to fight uh, sin in mm-hmm. my own strength, I remember those days yeah. uh, when I was in college and I wanted to, I desperately wanted to live right for God <laughs> and I was trying in my own strength yeah. and I was like, man, I'm not going to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to do this anymore. And to my surprise, the more I did that, the more I went back and yeah. did the very thing Come that on. I didn't yeah. want to do. But when I found out about grace and the gospel and that God loves me unconditionally and I stopped focusing so mm-hmm. much on the wrongs and I started mm-hmm. focusing on the goodness of God and, and the loving uh, Father that, that we have, mm-hmm. that we come into relationship with through what Jesus did on the cross, I accidentally started to live right for God oh, without yeah. you know trying, without putting any effort. I remember a few months later, I turned, I turned around and I said, wait a minute, I haven't done those things that I used to want to mm-hmm. do so mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. and uh, I haven't been trying not to do them what has happened mm-hmm. it was the grace of God that had brought that transformation and I think it's, it's yeah. awesome that's so good eh? yeah. Yeah. and it is it's powerful yeah mm-hmm. you see if it's up to us it's not good news it's not no it's not even if you're at <laughs> half a percent news. <laughs> it's, 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 it's uh, I've tried <laughs> going on a diet Come on. <laughs> that <laughs> in itself <laughs> yeah, exactly but I think that's what you're saying Tafara mm. is the scandalous reality of God's goodness mm. yeah. to save us yeah. not because of anything we did wow. but awesome. because of who he is Come on. Amen. smashes our pride 
Come on, Absolutely. it does. So the legalist always wants to add something. Look yeah. at me, look what I did. You want to earn it. Amen. Yeah. You know, the, the legalist want to earn it. Yeah, and, and, we, and we all, I'm, you know, I'm a recovering legalist, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. And so the reality, we're all dealing with that. Or if you're a rebel, it's still based in pride. Come Absolutely. on, I just want to do my own thing. I want to rule my own life. Absolutely. Both of them end up yeah. in death. Wow. And Jesus comes to save both Thank you, Jesus. through grace. Thank and you, it smashes our pride. It smashes our self-effort, our humanistic thinking. Amen. And it does. It humbles us to think that Jesus is so good. Come Amen. on. And that That's he amazing. really has done what he has done. Wow. And the gospel is powerful. It is. It. You see, if we have to add something to it mm. to try and make it powerful, it's not the gospel. Come on. It. Then it's, it's, it's some good news, but with our addition. Yeah. And That's faith is the key, but faith still comes to us come in on. the form Amen. of the gospel. Yeah. How it. do we get faith? By hearing, hearing. the word. Come mm -hmm. on. And the word is not our word, his word. And <laughs> faith comes and it's like sinners will sit in a meeting Amen. and they'll hear this. Or maybe sitting today and they'll hear, can God really save me? Is he really this good? Amen. Absolutely. Come on. Because faith comes and when faith comes, it produces something in you. And our response to that is just, it really is, we designed to walk by faith. Come Amen. on. Uh, it's not it's not counterintuitive, Amen. you know. Come on. I love so. what you said there, Stuart. I love what you said. I mean, that's how good God is. You know, we couldn't even use our own faith, yeah. you know, to, to, to get salvation. We, we, you know, none. we have none. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, were dead, hey. we, we were dead. We were dead, dead you know. <laughs> and even that faith is a gift, you know, that comes through hearing the good news of the gospel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. Thank so you, good. Jesus. I yeah, I mean, so, you know what, I, I, I've just, on my heart for tonight, yeah, grace is a word, and you hear people, they, they stay away from, mm. from hyper grace. And mm. I don't know if you could ever exaggerate the grace no, of you God. Can't. Yeah. Let's just be honest about yeah. that. I think what we need to uh, be careful of is pseudo grace. Yeah. Okay, it's it. where it's a counterfeit grace. It, we, we use grace to get away with our stuff, yeah. and we use grace to, to be better than others yeah. because we think we got some revelation. Mm. Mm. Then it's pseudo grace. Yeah, Come on. But it. genuine grace. The full grace of God is going to make us more like Jesus. Come on. And, and so we will not become judgmental. Yeah. We will not be accusing. Yeah. We will actually reflect the glory of God. Because there's a great temptation. I remember when I, fought, uh, when I first came into this revelation of grace, there's going to be a huge temptation for you to think, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I've got it now. I've, mm. got, I've mm. got this. Everybody else doesn't know what they're talking about. I'm the grace man. And the grace I, police, I'm actually, grace, more like I it. Almost, it's actually, I became I think the grace that's the Pharisee. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the temptation. And uh, just trying to tell everybody how wrong they were <laughs> and how the legalistic you. they were. <laughs> I will miss you. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> and I mean, it was terrible. It was terrible yeah. for me because I became miserable. Yeah. And uh, that's not the grace of God. I like that you, Amen. you know, you're bringing that up because yeah. God, when when true grace hits you, you become graceful. <laughs> well, that's it. Come on. Absolutely. You see, that's that's where I really feel the foundation of grace. If you it really established in true grace. Yeah. You grow up in true grace, Come on. and then you reflect true grace, Amen. and you have fruit of true grace. Oh, mm. But if we have a mixture in our foundation, which I think most of us have, I Come mean, I, you know, I, I think I loved God as a as a kid. You really, I, and I didn't want to go to hell. Let's just mm. be honest. Yeah, right? that, know, was, that, people, that was a, it's, that was a good that was motivation, a good, a right good incentive. <laughs> but what happened was, I mean, because I really had hell preached to me. I was in a Pentecostal yeah. Uh, yeah. upbringing, yeah. so I didn't want to go to hell. Yeah. Yeah. But I was I was getting saved every Sunday night. Yeah, of course. Because I would promise God yeah. at the altar, like yeah. it was up to me. That I'll never sin again, and this yeah. is it. Like this week, this is yeah. It. And this I think I would time. last Monday morning, yeah. you know. But I mean, I would go to school, and some guy would tell a dirty joke, and before I knew it, I'd tell two dirty jokes, and I, <laughs> yeah. I can't tell the guy I'm or saved laugh now. At his joke. Oh no, absolutely, <laughs> no, no. I didn't just laugh, you know. And, <laughs> and um, I was I was a participator. Yeah. yeah. But then what happened was I couldn't tell him about Jesus, and so yeah. I'd have yeah. to wait till Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and then you live with this yeah. condemnation. Yeah. And you know what the horrible thing with that is? I could never really enjoy sin. Because I was, I was mm -hmm. condemned okay. uh, because I knew it was wrong. Yeah. But then I could really never worship because I was condemned because of sin. Man, yeah, so you, you can't terrible. even enjoy. So you, you can't enjoy any of the no, world. No, you, if you're you're sin, sitting on the fence, really. Yeah. <laughs> just go enjoy yeah. it. If you're yeah. sin, sin, you, sin if you're to the serve max. God, do it properly. <laughs> Come on. Don't do this half-hearted thing yeah. of, of religious Christianity that has no mm, life, no power, awesome. no joy, no yeah, fruit. I'm not interested in that. That's awesome. And so I think that was the... The incredible discovery of God's goodness and, wow. and this ongoing revelation. Mm -hmm. So so I feel, I really like felt when you, you guys invited me to come on today mm -hmm. is to just speak about condemnation. Come on. Mm -hmm. Because I think many Christians live with a, a, a low-grade condemnation mm -hmm. at best. Yeah, that's true. Uh, or a, a horrible condemnation. Yeah. And so, so grace isn't a doctrine. 
come on. You see, I think that's also grace yeah. is a person. His mm. name is Jesus. That's wow. awesome. You see, if we want to get a doctrine, I don't need a person. I just need to study to get knowledge. Yeah. But when I've encountered Jesus wow. and I've encountered grace, I get transformed in my heart. Then I renew my mind with truth that comes to my spirit. Mm. And I start living out of my spirit, man. And I know that it's a, a walk of faith. Mm -hmm. And like our kids, I mean, your, my kids are grown up and mm -hmm. your kids. Imagine us treating uh, our kids like we do some people in the church, that they get mm -hmm. saved, so yeah. they get born again, yeah. and we expect them to run day one. Yeah. But our kids scrape their knees, they fall, they make yeah. mistakes, mm -hmm. they spill. They're still our kids. Yeah. It's never going to change. Yeah. And, and we're keeping them to in try, in maturity. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, I, was, I, I took my kids to... To, to learn how to ride <laughs> bikes uh, in December. Yeah. And I mean, it's tough because when you let that thing go and you want them to ride on their own, they're going to they're gonna fall a few times. Yeah. And it's hard on yeah. the parents. Yeah, they're going to be crying. They're, they're going to be, gonna be, be yeah. many tears. You know, but I didn't say you silly thing. You, no, you can't, can't ride be, a bike. You can't be a bit tired. Mm. That's it. You know yeah, what you I mean? Attempt you. I didn't yeah. say that. I was Absolutely. like, man, come on. This is what happens. Get up. Let's try again. Yeah. And uh, I didn't condemn yeah. them. Come on. And that's what our Heavenly Father uh does uh to us yeah you know? so Absolutely. he's a dad and so when we understand being born again is coming into a family mm. it's mm. not coming into a religion to try yeah. and get a bunch of rules Ooh, to keep so i can that's be so accepted awesome. that's good. see that's where okay. the condemnation comes because mm. awesome. really the gospel is essentially two covenants an mm. old one yeah and a new one yeah and and we can't mix the two because yeah. you mm. make them both powerless come on mm. amen and so if we understand that, that we can actually be free from an old covenant, which adds a place, yeah. mm. but it's not in, in the new covenant. Yeah. Absolutely. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll look at some scriptures just now. So people get That's a theology, exciting. not of mm. making me feel good, but something that I can genuinely hold on to that changes my heart. Yeah. That's awesome. And, That's good. and so when uh, I, maybe you've seen on some people, they quote this, you'll know if you understand grace is when you sin, if you understand grace, you want to run to your father first. Mm. Okay. If you don't understand grace, you run away from your father Come on. to wow. try and kind of hide from him and then yeah. bring him something that's acceptable. Yeah. But if you understand grace, dad, I messed up. Mm. You know, Lord, help me. I mean, I've messed up. I, can't, I was so dumb when I did. I was yeah. so mm. arrogant or prideful. Yeah. Mm. But can you help me? That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's understanding yeah. his love that's and his heart. Absolutely. So what's he going to do? He's going to love me. He's going to empower me. He's going to mm. he's going to discipline me because mm. I'm his son. Come on. And, and who doesn't want that kind of a dad? He's Man. not angry Amen. with me. Yeah. So I, I, when I look at scriptures, that's what set my heart free. Mm. Come on. Is I, I began to uh, Rob was the guy that as he preached, a revelation came. And mm. I, I, I mean, I read scriptures I've been reading for years. And after getting a revelation, I saw them differently. Wow. And everything changed. I'll never forget uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, we were in a meeting, Rob was mm. sharing, and it was quite a, a sensitive time, and, but I, I heard something, and I came back Wednesday night, was our midweek prayer meeting at our right. church, and there was a different atmosphere. Wow. Oh, wow. I was carrying something different, but boy, oh boy, did it stir up the religious spirit. Man, Man I'm they, telling they, you. They don't mind hanging around uh, <laughs> when they can control in the background, but, yeah, yeah. but uh, true grace is going to attract grace hating spirit oh, yeah. the anti anointing Absolutely. anti grass and does. it looks beautiful yeah it comes dressed up in fine clothing respectable people yeah, yeah. but that's why i realized true grace comes from a humble heart come on yeah. uh, and when you get it it, it honestly it changes your life you know and, yeah. wow. and you walk Absolutely. in forgiveness to those who curse you th yeah. those and it's hard you know because i if i was god i mean there'd be a couple of people there. <laughs> Absolutely. I would have disciplined them differently. <laughs> but, but struck I, them I, with I, leprosy <laughs> or something like that, well, you know? Double, <laughs> double leprosy. Yeah. Double leprosy. <laughs> thank yeah. God you are thank not God. Thank God you're not God. God. <laughs> that's and that's thank my God theology. I'm not God. Yeah. I always say that to myself. Yeah. I always say, man, thank God I'm not God. Because, you know, sometimes I get, I get so yeah. angry. I'm like, man, you know what? <laughs> yeah. I, could, I could take care of this. That's, my, oh, that's the basis man, of my theology 101. I'm not God. Come yeah, on. You're not story. God, absolutely. Uh, the There's only I one God. Work. Come on. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and so, you know, uh, uh, Romans 8, verse mm. 1, yeah. Yeah, just the it's scripture. Good. And, and I, I know, uh, Tafara, you uh, like the King James. I also grew up in the King James. Yeah, that's the, that's uh, the version that the, uh, uh, the Lord reads. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Is that the heavenly language? <laughs> <laughs> Man, someone yeah. who sent I, an email. And say, Pastor T said on the podcast, we should actually the it's a joke. <laughs> yeah. Genuinely, I, I believe that was a joke. Eh? Yeah. 
I can even speak King James. You know, they, you know when, when people talk normally, yeah. Yeah, um, then they're like this. And I remember going to a church and we were speaking like this in the pastor's lounge. I was ministering and we were talking normally and then we went to go pray. Yeah. Okay. And I was shocked because the people that I was speaking to, they changed. Yeah. And the way they prayed, it was a different way of speaking. Yeah. Because somehow if we speak King James or if we speak, you know, like, Good Jesus. God can only hear yeah. King James. And, and, and every word with, uh, with an A, right? <laughs> yeah. God. Oh, yes. Man. I love that. <laughs> yeah. But in, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in Romans 8, verse 1, okay. it says, uh, which really is a powerful, mm. powerful scripture. Beautiful. So um, Romans 8, 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation. Zero. For those in Christ Jesus. Full stop. Amen. Unfortunately, the guys still in the King James leave who walk not according to the flesh, yeah. but according to the spirit. Mm. Now, you see, even that portion, which is not in the original uh, Greek manuscripts, just reading those scriptures can produce condemnation in you. Mm. Who walk not according to the flesh. Because I don't know about you, I can't say that I walked 100% in the spirit today up until this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So if I don't walk in the, in the spirit 100%, then there must be a little bit of condemnation. Mm. Mm. But the actual original, if you read in the ESV, if you read in some of the other translations, it says, right. there is therefore now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. Come on. Full Amen. stop. Mm. That's it. Amen. If you're in Christ Jesus, there is Nothing. now no condemnation. Yeah. Absolutely. You see, our minds can't contain that because yeah. somehow it's so scandalous that Jesus would remove all guilt, yeah. mm. that what he paid for me on the cross and when I received him and became born again, yeah. I genuinely, according to 2 Corinthians 5, 20, became a new creation. A new creation the yeah. old steward has gone. gone, not because God's forgetful, but mm. because he really believes his word. He Come is on. Yeah. one of the most faithful people That's I know. Amen. <laughs> he <laughs> believes what he says. Amen. And so when he says you're a new creation, he doesn't deal with me according to the old steward mm. that died with Christ on the cross. Come on. He really believes that. I'm the one who remembers. Mm. Yeah. I'm the one who has yeah. to have a mind renewed mm -hmm. yeah. because I have a hangover of my old life mm. yeah. that influences how I think and see. My own brokenness plays a part. But what gives me a lack of confidence is when I look at me and I look at my own performance. Come on. Mm. Then I don't have a boldness yeah. Yeah. and I don't have a confidence to come before the Father. Mm -hmm. Somehow I still think I've got to do something. Yeah. yeah. See, now I mean, you can't be bold to do anything if you look at your own performance. Absolutely. You can't even be bold to pray for mm -hmm. someone because you, you probably haven't had enough time to yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, go on a fast yeah. before you pray for the person. Yeah. You haven't had enough time to light some incense or look religious and, mm. you know, get your prayer shower. Mm. And so when you look at, you know, performance, you're always going to be condemned and you're always going to feel guilty. Yeah. You're always going to be tripped up to even walk in faith. But when yeah. you're free from condemnation, you it's know that it's not according to your strength and mm. therefore you can go and minister. You can go and uh, 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 mm. lay hands on the sick as we are instructed, knowing that this is not coming from your own strength. You can go ahead and, and, and do more in the kingdom of God. God mm. will just, he has set us free to, to, to work for him and to represent Absolutely. him without any uh, fear without any inferiority Absolutely. complex, uh, without any guilt, yeah. and that's awesome. Shu, can I add to that because I've got a little bit of a comment on in my in my Bible, um, and I believe it's the actual um, uh, uh, um, another translation yeah. of Romans eight verse one. It says, mm. "There is therefore now not even one bit of condemnation." Come on. There's like nothing. There is absolutely no condemnation. Once wow. you've made Jesus your Lord and your Savior, once you've put your trust in Jesus' perfect performance, mm. there can be absolutely no condemnation. Not wow. even one single bit That's awesome. of condemnation. That's you awesome. Know, isn't it? How many people have you met who got saved? They were kind of, once they got saved, they started coming up under mm. condemnation because they yeah. really felt... I promised I w God gave me a second chance yeah. and now I can't mess up. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's just doubling yeah. your condemnation because mm. you're not going to be able to keep your side. It's no. not around what you did. It's around faith in what he did. Absolutely. Mm. That's why what you're saying, there's not even an iota Nothing. of condemnation. Nothing wow. at all. But the big thing comes up, but what about when you sin afterwards? Yeah. Mm. See, and it's amazing how people make that the focus. Yeah. Well, yeah. What about Jesus' eternal covenant? Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing that produces in me a boldness yeah. and a confidence Absolutely. and you know uh, that's hebrews 4 we mm. we come before the throne of grace with boldness, boldness. and with confidence Absolutely. to do what to obtain help to obtain help yeah. so yeah. so when people mess up 
that's not what I'm thinking throne room. I'm thinking, yeah. oh, God's going to get me. I've got, to, I've got to try and bring something. Actually, if I understood the gospel when I need help, mm -hmm. that's the first place I'm going to go to. Come is on. a throne of grace, not judgment, a throne of grace to receive mercy mm -hmm. and to receive grace in my time mm -hmm. of need. Come on. Absolutely. That's a revelation of grace because when you mess up, and we all do, yeah. and the problem is I don't mess up like others. That's yeah. why I feel like I'm better. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, actually, I need grace. Come so on. if I run to the throne, I'm going to find mercy. Man, mm -hmm. when you don't have a revelation of grace, there's going to be a great temptation mm -hmm. for you to become prideful because you, mm -hmm. you, you, you're looking at your own works and you're constantly measuring how they stack up against someone else. Mm -hmm. You're like that publican and that Pharisee who was praying in the, in the synagogue and he mm -hmm. was saying, Lord, I, I thank you that I'm not like this them. sinner like here. Them. <laughs> like this like sinner them. here. I, 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 do all, I keep all of the religious yeah. laws and uh, I, I pray three yeah. times a day and I, I do all these things. And then the sinner came and prayed and said, you know, Lord, I'm, I'm a sinner. I'm Have mercy on me. <laughs> yeah. And Jesus asked and he said, who walked away more just or, or more uh, oh, uh, 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 justified yeah. uh, from their prayer? And, you know, Jesus said the sinner. Because he approached God with humility. He didn't approach God with, uh, you know, uh, this, this level of pride that, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing it. I mean, even when we try, the Old Testament said your own works, when God looks at them, they are just but uh, 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 filthy rags. Yeah. You know, our own righteousness Absolutely. doesn't even measure up to what God uh, is looking for. What God mm -hmm. is looking for mm -hmm. is perfection that That's could it. only be found in Jesus. Yeah, and on. he is the sinless son of God. He is the lamb of God that came to take, the perfect lamb of God that come came on. to take away come the on. sin uh, of the world. And God was pleased yeah. with Amen. that sacrifice. He is not you, know, you wouldn't be pleased with our own little, no, you know, righteousness. He said it is, it says filthy rags, even when yeah. you live right. Absolutely. You know, it Absolutely. still doesn't think, stack up. Yeah, I think the Bible, even in Romans says we were all sinners. We all Absolutely. were sinners and yeah. we all fell short of the grace of God. Yeah. You know, so um, I, 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 I absolutely love the example that you used. Mm. You know, we, we always judging our sin, looking at our sin and looking at others. You know, or at least the religious mindset looks yeah. at, mm. you know, their own shortcomings but looks at others yeah. and their shortcomings in their mind don't appear as awful as others so they think in their mind you know okay. they're right with god yeah, i'm yeah, right yeah. with god but yeah. At the end of the day, we, you know, the Bible says, if you have not made Jesus your Lord and Savior, come we're on. all sinners. Come on. All of us have yeah. sinned and come short of the glory of God, the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And so we all need a Savior. Amen. We all need to acknowledge that we need God's grace yeah. in our lives. We come need on. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And only Jesus' performance is good enough. Come on. Come on. You know? Come God on. was pleased with Jesus. Mm. Yeah, well, that's Amen. Romans 3. Yeah. It says, that, that there's a righteousness found apart from the law. Mm. Mm. If it was found in the law, then they wouldn't need another That's righteousness it. It. avenue. Mm. If it. you could do it in the law, then just, you know, just do it. Do That's the it. law. <laughs> but Jesus do came and clearly showed the law was so holy, so absolutely exact in its perfection yeah. and its demand that nobody could meet it. Come on. Amen. And come through it clean except for Jesus. Come on. Amen. And it's amazing how some people still want to use the law. Yeah, but we, what about the Ten Commandments? Yeah. And I, they, they write if you want to live under the Old Covenant. Yeah. Amen. I can't perform under there. I will be cursed and I will die. <laughs> so I'd rather live in the New Covenant yeah. where Jesus comes to give life come on. and Amen. he gives it by faith faith he gives it because i humble myself i can't demand grace i yeah. receive grace you receive by posturing myself and it really smashes my pride i mean if yeah. i try to live on the 10 commandments i might just fail in just remembering them Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because he does remember no, forget them. keeping exactly, forget keeping them i'm, I'm gonna f i might not even remember. commandment eight <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what does he say i don't know but here's the here's the truth mm. that a lot of people miss is mm. that once you come into this fullness uh, of, of, of a relationship with God and mm -hmm. with Jesus and you, you surrender to his grace and you receive uh, of what he did for us instead of trying to bring uh, your own effort to mm -hmm. him, when you receive of what he did for us, uh, it, 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 it's, it radically changes your life Amen. forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. It changes your life and it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an effortless change. Amen. And, and grace is the power to literally... Uh, changes from the inside out. Amen. When you when you get a true revelation of what Jesus paid for on the cross, on. it just literally brings a, a totally yeah. different person out of you. It it brings different. Uh, 
completely different ta set of taste Absolutely. buds. Yep. I mean, the things that you used to enjoy before. I mean, now you, it's almost like you're a different creature. Now you're Absolutely. walking in that, which you are. You are no, a new creature. Say, it's not almost. Yeah, you yeah, are. yeah. I mean, the Bible says you, you, you emphatically are a brand new Absolutely. creation. Exactly. And yeah. now you are walking in it. Yeah. You, you, you just, Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. For me personally, it's given me such a confidence. Um, because I mean, I always share, I, I used to be very fearful of praying. <laughs> so we'd have wow. life groups and um, it's our um, uh, cell groups, yeah. Bible studies. And I just remember so clearly at the end of the Bible study, someone would say, okay, let's pray. And then we, you know, you'd say, let's pray. And we'd all look around and, you know, you're looking for someone to pray. And I'd pinch my baby so that I wouldn't <laughs> pray, right? Because I was that scared of praying. Wow. But when I really caught a revelation of what Jesus had done for me, Come on. and that really it's not me making anything happen because mm. Jesus has already done it all, it gave me such a confidence to just pray Come on. you know Whoa. and so you probably notice i'm probably one of the first ones who says i want to pray you know because yeah. yeah. grace understanding getting a revelation of the grace of god getting a revelation really of of everything that jesus has done for us mm. it changes our mentality Come on. it changes our it gives us a confidence and boldness. It, it, it just changes our relationships and how we relate with others. Yeah. You're able mm. to forgive yeah. Come on. Yeah. quickly. You're able to let go of offenses yeah. easier. Yeah. You know, so the grace of God personally for my life has just changed yeah. me. Come on. Absolutely. I, I don't think if I didn't know grace, I don't think I'd be in the ministry today. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd be leading a church. I, maybe I'd love Jesus, I think, but offended you know where yeah. i know I'm, I'm a son i'd go to heaven i want to see him one day i don't want to yeah. see his kids now you yeah. know because they really irk me and, yeah. and they've hurt me yeah but actually when you understand grace you start realizing that's exactly what jesus did he came yeah. to his own and they didn't receive him yeah. yeah but grace didn't stop him because he wow. had a revelation of his own father that's wow it. see he didn't come to perform anything he mm. came to the earth because he was loved by his That's father it. come on and he was full of grace and truth mm. and i think if you if you get a revelation of grace the things we do now, the sacrifice, because yeah. it does. I love to sacrifice, yeah. love yeah. to give, yeah. Yeah. love to forgive. That's Why? It. Because it's my nature, my true it's new nature. Are. I'm like Jesus. He's my older brother. Yeah. Yeah. He's my king. I love him. And man, if I want to be like him, it's not a striving. Look, no. look, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a recognizing by faith I've been changed. Amen. And then I start practicing That's my it. new nature. Mm. It becomes second nature wow yeah. but we've so we, we believe this that i'm still like us and we live yeah. with schizophrenia spiritual yeah. schizophrenia yeah, 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 but yeah, i'm yeah. saved unsaved yeah i'm good i'm bad i'm yeah. righteous unrighteous yeah. and i think that's why paul wrote that emphatically there is now no, no condemnation. condemnation zero zero, zero. zero. Not, zero. not even, not even one bit yeah mm. one john um 321 come on how, how beautiful is this and it's in i, I just read this one it says beloved if our hearts do not condemn us, Ooh, we have good. confidence before God. Oh, he doesn't on. say if, if the God. spirit of yeah. God, spirit, no, yeah. no, if our hearts. Now, how do you get your heart not to condemn you? Well, listen to what Jesus said. Yeah. There is no Amen. condemnation. Yeah. I died for you. I love you. That's awesome. I've washed you in my blood. My. You are mine. I've sealed you with my spirit. Not based on your behavior, yeah. but based on my finished work. Amen. You see, if that comes in, then my heart won't condemn me. Come you on. know what happens? I've confidence before God. Mm. Doesn't mean that I can carry on sinning. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful that when, when Paul gets a letter back, now I mean, it's we live and people can text now and yeah, yeah, we yeah. can see face to face and take a phone call. <laughs> but in Paul's day, it was letters. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And, and so he, he obviously went and, and these Romans had this great revelation. And some of them, this is what they heard Paul say, the yeah. more you sin, the more grace you get. So go full <laughs> tilt on sinning. Sin to the max. His reply wasn't no and then add law to bring him into battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he brought a greater revelation of the finished work of Jesus. Wow. Amen. And what did Jesus do? He says, he set you free from sin. Yeah. And if you Amen. truly knew who you were, yeah. you wouldn't carry on under sin, which is very temporary. And you'll go to heaven one day, but there'll be no reward because you didn't live for Jesus. Come on. You didn't live in a revelation yeah. of grace. You live for yourself. You live under the, the natural order of things and, and not in the new covenant power of a resurrected life. Yeah. And that's why I think for me, mixing the two has nullified it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm yeah, saying, God, does. help me understand. You said earlier, praying for the sick. Yeah. yeah. You see, if I understand this, then praying for the sick is not how much I pray yeah. Yeah. for the sick to get healed. That's it's do it. I believe the word, pray for the sick. That's yeah. it. That's and, and, true. And I do, let's just do that because I'm anointed. 
God's spirit lives yeah. inside of me. Yeah. It's not performance driven. It's grace and faith driven. Yeah. Man, I'm not condemned. I mean, when yeah. once you realize that, that it's Jesus, I mean, even in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant, when uh, 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 people would bring sacrifices to the priest, uh, not <laughs> at any point would the priest mm, inspect the person because that was a known fact. <laughs> if you came here, <laughs> we know you, you, you've, <laughs> you've already acknowledged that you have a problem <laughs> and your problem is sin. So we're not even going to waste yeah. time trying to inspect you. And, yeah. and that's the thing is that as long as we are oh, here yeah. and, and, and we've, all, we've all fallen short of oh. the glory of God, yeah. all of Absolutely. us have been declared uh, guilty in our own strength, yeah, yeah. but n we are not in our own strength now. We are in Jesus and now we have also been declared righteous Amen. we have now become the righteousness of Come God on. in Christ Jesus why because God inspected the sacrifice Ooh. in Jesus <laughs> and he found it uh, worthy Come and on. he found it perfect and he found it to be the one that Amen. would take away uh, 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 the That's sin of the world and make us righteous and because of that you and I were qualified Absolutely. and now we are the righteousness of God because Thank God is Jesus. pleased he's thoroughly pleased with oh, jesus the bible amen. says jesus is the propitiation amen. the it's atoning word, sacrifice is the propitiation That's the atoning uh, yeah. uh, man we, we're alive so i've got to act like i know a little something propitiation propitiation i gotta act Big like i know a little something. come on we are the, jesus is the propitiation the yeah, atoning sacrifice absolutely. it just means it's the lamb the perfect lamb and that man, that was man. approved by god to be the one that takes away the sin not for ours only, but for the entire world. That's mm. what the Bible says. Now it's time for the world to recognize that it's in Jesus that we find salvation mm. and our relationship with God is restored Come again. On. And man, it's, it's beautiful. It's Amen. a beautiful picture. Yeah. Amen. It's a beautiful picture because uh, Christianity is the only religion if you want to classify it as a re it's not yeah, yeah, it's a relationship but if you do want to classify it as a religion it's the only religion mm. where we have a savior mm. come on Amen. where we have someone Amen. who saved us Amen. Uh, all the other religions man you have to earn your righteousness yeah. you have to pray uh, certain times That's in a day you have to pray looking in a certain direction uh, you have to at least know the you know the the you know the uh, bearings of the compass where, where the east is it don't matter where <laughs> you are you have to if it's 5 p.m man you get down on your yeah. knees and do that uh, even when you're flying you're gonna have to man it's oh, yeah, just it's crazy. crazy but we have jesus Amen. and jesus has kept the entire law for um, i love it can Come i on. add awesome. to that so yeah. can i add so so christianity absolutely is the only religion for lack of a better word where, where we have a savior but but is it also not the only religion where the where God loves us unconditionally. Come on. Come on okay. I, I mean, I don't see Allah. Yeah. Allah comes with conditions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Buddha comes with conditions. Yeah. You know, you've yeah. got to pray at certain times, yeah. facing the east and the light. Yeah, you've got to make breakfast. You've got to make and, breakfast. Uh, you can't and, eat pork, I mean, all that stuff. Yeah, but God, demon, God loves us yeah. unconditionally. Come on. Yeah. And his love for us, his immense, his intense, his uh, huge love for us was demonstrated through Jesus yeah, Christ. That's awesome. It was on. demonstrated through Jesus' death, Jesus' burial, and Jesus' resurrection. Come on. Come on. Our Father loves us unconditionally. Amen. And 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 really, I think I think for me personally, the the struggle, for lack of a better word, was convincing my mind of those truths. Yeah. Because everyone else has conditions, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's absolutely. face it, our parents love us. But they're conditions, right? Yeah. Um, they're not God. They're not yeah. God. Yeah. Our spouse can love us, but yeah. you know, there's some conditions Man, if there. Crazy, you know, if you're crazy, you. absolutely. <laughs> you know, our boss may love us, but if you're not gonna, if you're gonna be coming to work late and you're not I mean, gonna be doing your work, you. big, you're gonna have no job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love my kids, but I tell them, hey, <laughs> as long as you're living under my house. You are under the law. <laughs> Absolutely and I under the, the law. law. <laughs> of the I Lord. am the law. <laughs> Absolutely. I am the law. D A D the law. D A D. Yeah. And so this is oh, our man. reality. The, yeah. the, the 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 environment um, that we are immersed in <laughs> relates to us conditionally yeah, right, yeah, right. They, i mean love is conditional um if we look at the the horizontal relationships that yeah. we have in our lives and so for me the the, the struggle was to, to to renew my mind to these awesome truths that god loves me 
period. Yeah. God loves me. There are no T's and C's. There are no conditions. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I cannot do. There's nothing I am sure. not doing that will ever stop God from loving Come me. On. And wow, that's just so on, awesome. That is the power of grace. That we is the power of, 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 of this amazing father. On, Chief, Man. That, that offends pride. Yeah. It does. You see, I, I mean, I, I remember when I came to the revelation of grace, when you make those statements, there's, n- mm. there's nothing I can yeah. do that can make God stop loving me. Mm. People got offended by that. Yeah. And, you know, so, so people would hypothetically say, what if you had an affair? It wouldn't stop God's no, it wouldn't. love for me. It'll yeah. break my marriage yeah. and yeah. I would not have a reward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's still no condemnation yeah. because Jesus paid yeah. for it all. Yeah. But there's a reward he wants to give me by faith as Come I walk on. with him. Yeah. And I'm, still, I'm not a robot. Yeah. I, I wish it was. Yeah. I wish that when I got saved, I no longer had a will that I was just controlled by angels yeah. and yeah. I'd be angelic. <laughs> but I still got a will <laughs> because I'm like God. Yeah. I yeah. get to choose. Yeah. But when I see his grace and I see this covenant that yeah. he's made with me, I can let go of my own efforts because we condemnation comes because I fail wow. or the standard so high I can't I keep it. it. Come yeah. on. So God said, let me set you free from that condition awesome. mm. of the law because the law is, I always say this, the law is like a um, MRI scan. It is so <laughs> profound. <laughs> yeah. that, I mean, I, I don't want to go to a doctor if I'm not feeling well and he looks at me, puts a stick under my tongue and says, take these two tablets and call me in the morning <laughs> and I die in the morning because I'm riddled with cancer. You know, but if he puts me in an MRI scan that's very expensive and very technical and I go from head to toe and it comes up and it says this MRI scan says you've got cancer. I don't get angry with the MRI scan. Yeah. The MRI scan didn't give me cancer. It just showed what I've got, yeah. my condition. Now, the doctor can't treat me. I can't treat yeah. me, but I know what I've got. The law is like the MRI scan. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't treat us. Absolutely. It just shows us what our condition is. Come on. It's Absolutely. a condition of sin. Yeah. I want to be God. I yeah. don't want a, salva- a savior or a salvation. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what grace smashes. Amen. Come on. Because I actually realize there's a new covenant on offer. Yeah. And so Jesus came to fulfill the old. Yeah, I didn't have to, but somehow I think as a security blanket, if I can just try be loving, just try and not hate my neighbor. And mm. I, I've never murdered anybody, yeah. Yeah. but boy, boy, in my head, I have definitely sent some people <laughs> to heaven or hell, you know. Uh, and, and that's the that's when the condition. Running the lawnmower at six a.m. on Saturday morning. <laughs> no, oh, man. No, don't say that. You know, you're on air. Oh, yeah. but, but, oh, but how's this? Just uh, this condemnation for me when I began to believe Scripture, not how I felt. Mm. Not mixing law and Come grace, but taking pure grace. I began to get such a freedom Amen. to come before the Father, Amen. not in perfection, but in relationship. Come on. That He loves me. And so Hebrews 7 and verse 18, uh, I must say, I love Hebrews. Uh, the, the writer okay. there was writing to, it's really the only book written back to the Jewish people. It's yeah. not really. Mm. And so they knew the law. They, these guys were steeped in it. But how's this in verse 18? And I'm, I read from the ESV, it says, For on the one hand, a former commandment is set aside. How's this? Because of its weakness and uselessness. Wow. Now, people struggle mm. to say that about the law. Wow. Because mm. he says on the one hand. So you've got two hands. Yeah. So it's on the one hand. Yeah. All right. A former commandment or a former covenant is set aside because of its weakness yeah. and its uselessness. For the Lord made the law made nothing perfect. But on the other hand, not in the same hand, Mm -hmm. there's not the balance, and it's not a balance, it's on the one hand, so it's separate. On the other hand, a better hope is introduced Mm -hmm. through which we draw near to God. Then he goes on, verse 22, this makes Jesus the guarantee or the guarantor of a better covenant. The old covenant, isn't it interesting? Jesus would never been able to serve in the temple under the old covenant. Wow. He was not born from the Levitical tribe, and they wow. were the only people to serve in the oh, tabernacle. Wow. Awesome. So he has a whole new covenant. That's, that's how profound it yeah, is. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. We, we, we're not breaking this off. That's going to be finished, but he has a new covenant. Come on. Jesus was not from that stock. He couldn't. Wow. He would never mm. be a high priest in the old covenant because yeah. he was the wrong um, uh, uh, tribe. Yeah. Amen. So he has a brand new priest. Come on. He, he gets raised from the old covenant. We see even Abraham talking about Jesus and Melchizedek. This is a profound, yeah. no beginning, no end, Come on. talking about the eternities of this yeah. man, That's Jesus. Awesome. He comes. He's the guarantor of this new yeah. covenant. Wow. Now, we've got to learn to let go of the old. It's not bad. You see, when people th- read this, weak and useless, they think bad. Yeah. Mm. Now, uh, you know, 
I think a donkey cart and a donkey <laughs> is not bad if that's all you've got. Yeah. And yet when they introduce the car, you can say a donkey cart and a, no a donkey oh, we is weak and useless. Yeah. Okay. But if you want to now say, okay, but I'm going to buy a car and I'm going to attach the donkey to it. Ah. <laughs> and I'm going to let the donkey pull the car. Do you know what's going to happen? You're going to kill the donkey and destroy the car. Wow. See, and this is what people do. They awesome. mix okay. the covenants. Yeah. You can't do that. You nullify both. Yeah. So set one aside. Come on. And you choose. If you want no condemnation, embrace the new covenant because Jesus Absolutely. is the guarantor. Absolutely. So now we go to uh, Romans 8. I want to just highlight some of these scriptures that I just mm-hmm. felt are the... The, the scriptures that produce faith. Not Come what on. I say, not what you guys say, mm. but what Jesus said. So uh, Hebrews 8, verse 6. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since yes. it is enacted on better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, mm. there would be have no occasion to look for a second. Come on. That's wow. not hard. Yeah. If the old covenant could save us, yeah. Jesus wouldn't have died because we, we would have just looked at ways of fulfilling the old. Absolutely. Yeah. But it was weak and useless. Come on. In comparison to what? Jesus. To, to Jesus, yeah. You see, so it's not bad. Yeah. It's weak and useless. Mm. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Uh, it's like having an MRI scan and yeah. it's, it's, it's so, man, it's the best. You won't find a better MRI scan. You won't okay. find some. There's nothing outside of this scan of the yeah. old covenant that won't that will be missed. Okay. Come on. That's but awesome. it doesn't heal you. It doesn't. It just tells you what's wrong with you. Yeah. Absolutely. Weak and useless. In Absolutely. fact, that's why the law was given. Come on. The law was given to show us how terrible and mm-hmm. how uh, bad the situation was. Come on. And that would help to push us in a in the direction of a savior. Come on. Mm. All of a sudden now you realize I need Jesus. A lot of people don't realize the degree that we need Jesus or that we Pride. needed Jesus because they don't realize how holy and mm. how meticulous the law was. Mm. I mean, it couldn't be kept by, by any man alive. Any one. I'm a 613. You, you couldn't keep it. You know, we couldn't, keep 10. <laughs> we couldn't keep 10. <laughs> we couldn't keep 10. Forget 600. We couldn't keep 10. Forget the other 600. <laughs> we could, I mean, exactly. and, and so uh, when you realize how uh, holy and how meticulous and how intense the law is, you realize, man, I couldn't have kept it in my own strength. And thank God for Jesus. Jesus came and Come kept on. it Amen. for me. And when I put my confidence and trust in him, I am Say thank you, Come on. Man, that's awesome. yeah. Can I can well, I can I show you in, yeah, in, in yeah. Hebrews seven verse eighteen in the Amplified, um, uh-huh. Stu, just to add to your weak oh. and, and useless, um, Hebrews seven and eighteen in the Amplified says, For on the other hand, a former commandment is cancelled because of its weakness and uselessness. And then in brackets it adds, because of its inability to justify the sinner before God. And Jesus and justified. Jesus was our justice. Man, I'm gonna get the last thought from you and we're gonna oh, give a time. few shout outs. Wow. Wrap it up. Time can, we not, time can we not set our watches back 20 nice. minutes? <laughs> well, we've done 52 minutes We need already. time saving. Wow. Wow. <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. Eh? Come on. I, mean, I, I would just encourage people to read Hebrews yeah. 8 Amen. and 9. The entire can, book of Hebrews Amen. is dedicated to show us how better this New Testament, yeah. this New Covenant is. Just this verse awesome. 13 of, of Hebrews 8, uh, my last scripture, I've had a whole bunch 13? more. In speaking right. of a New Covenant... He makes the first one obsolete. Yeah. See, we got it. Why I'm saying this is because if you don't see that and you yeah. still somehow got an old covenant mindset, do mm. good, get good. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you're living with condemnation. Come on. Because mm. you're going to fail. Yeah. The old covenant's designed to point out your faults. Yeah. Mm. The new covenant, which means you let go of the old, is better because it's enacted on better promises that you are righteous as a, as a gift, a gift of righteousness, not a reward, yeah. a gift. When we start realizing that in relationship, I want to be with Jesus Come on. and I grow up in Christ. I've still got faults. I'm still going to mess up, yeah. but I'm messing up in Christ. I'm not messing up away from Christ. Come on. And if I carry on messing up uh, 10 years in the making, I'm still carrying on. The, invariably, the root is pride. Yeah. I don't want to submit. Yeah. I want to blame the devil. I want to blame my f- family. I want to blame my granny. I want to yeah. blame somebody mm-hmm. yeah. because that's why I'm like this. But when I understand grace, grace empowers me. Come on. It, it, it puts... The spirit of Jesus in me. I'm the New Testament temple. Man, Jesus is living here, not coming and going on Sundays or my behavior. And I start living in that reality because I've been declared righteous. Mm. I can start saying, God, help me. And I'm going to get grazes on my knees. I'm going to own my own stuff. I'm going to walk in humility. But I want to say that humility, I'll grow in grace uh, to 
Peter, I think three, our growing grace, mm. but I'm a starting grace, Come on. not a mixture. Because yeah. if I start in a mixture and I try and add great grace on it, yeah. pure grace, it's going to wobble. It's yeah. going to wobble. If I, if I start out in great grace, but I start add law, I'm going to wobble. Yeah. Mm. So I think this thing of condemnation set me free when I realized pure grace is all that Jesus is, does. Yeah. It's all that he's doing Amen. and it's all he's going to do. Mm. My heart is to stay in humility. Amen. So I want to bless you, man. The Amen. first one's obsolete. Let's go with the second one that reduces any kind of condemnation. Come on. Amen. This is awesome, Amen. man. I'm telling you. Amen. And uh, the grace of God, just in closing, it fuels you to live the good life. Absolutely. It's the fuel that you Come need Absolutely. for you to be able to uh, just enjoy condemnation free. Come on. Uh, 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 you won't be inferior. You won't yeah. have any sense of guilt. Amen. Come on. Uh, you won't have shame. any sense of shame. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I mean, the grace of God is awesome. Amen. 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 Well, uh, uh, we want to wrap it up. Yeah, and it's sad to see questions? that uh, we are, are out no of time. Oh, no time uh, for questions? We don't have time for questions. Okay. It's 10 to 6. Okay. Well, I think people uh, but were really we have blessed. A, eh? a lot yeah. of people were blessed. I'm going to yeah. read a few. Yep. Uh, shout out. Mm -hmm. uh, we see Caroline here. Mm -hmm. uh, she said, it's true. If you compare yourself yeah. with other people, you always think you're better. Amen. And, uh, Marshall says, I have been declared righteous. Amen. Praise Hallelujah, God. brother. And Musa says, <laughs> I can demand. I can't yeah. demand grace. I receive Amen. grace. Come and uh, Luina van der Mer, yeah. van der Mer, van der Merva, van der Merva. Van der Merva. Van der Merva. Yeah, uh, Luina. She's in. Uh, um, uh, what's the name of this place with uh, uh, Champagne Air uh, with in the, the Western in Cape? Bush? Not Stellenbosch. Where's Champagne uh, Tulbach? Which one? No, uh, it's Champagne the other place. Uh, Luina, just tell us where, okay. where you're Luina, at. I've been, to, I've been to a church to preach. It's, Hermanus? Uh, Hermanus. No. Hermanus. Is that what Champagne is? Yeah, Champagne. Hermanus is famous for the dolphins, isn't it? It's famous for Wales. Wales, Wales, yeah. is it? Actually, okay. back in uh -huh. the day, people, this is what... Uh, uh, Rulof told me, the mm -hmm. pastor at the church. Yeah. Rulof, you've been there yeah. to preach yeah, for yeah, Rulof. Yeah. Uh, Rulof told me, uh, he at said, the rain people, church. A rain church. Mm -hmm. People would actually fly from all over the world to spend yeah. uh, people with breathing complications. Oh, they would fly from all over the world to uh, stay in Hermanes <laughs> for a month. <laughs> Recommended, prescribed by doctors, and okay. when you breathe that air, man, I'm telling okay. you to clear up all this. So you meant good quality air. I thought you were breathing in champagne. Well, that's what you know? he said like, to me. He yeah. said champagne. Oh, <laughs> Obviously, the, the, the <laughs> can best I say quality champagne air. on a Christian well, broadcast? Sure I think can. I can. If it's non-alcoholic, it's non-alcoholic. Non 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 it's great juice champagne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Who else? We are Kiki said, Kiki Litsu said, glad to be here tonight. Praise said, God. Thank you so much. So and uh, here we have Donna Thomas. She says, enjoying this so much from Michigan, USA. What? This is powerful. Amen. Thank you for joining us, Donna. Amen. And uh, many other shout outs. Amen. Miriam says, it is my nature. Uh, powerful. And let's see who else. We yeah, also I'm have on Facebook. On, we had on YouTube. What's happening on YouTube? Nontlantla uh -huh. says, greetings from Dubai. Dubai. Hi, Nontlantla. She says, next week, can we tackle renewal of the mind? Renewal of Amen. the mind. We will be Amen. tackling that. Well, uh, <laughs> if the guest bring, br brings it up. We tackle we what will, the guest yeah, tackles. We, we're just here to hang <laughs> out with the guest. Tackle guests. the guest. <laughs> 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 and uh, on YouTube, what's going on on YouTube? On any, well, any I was actually on YouTube. So that was Nontlantla. We had Colo fellow she says hi family Desiree uh -huh. Chetty also says hi family and then we had Musa uh, Musa had a great comment now I've, I've lost it oh no he was commenting on the weakness and uselessness sounds like filthy rags eh? yeah, I love that yeah, they're taking does. notes on Facebook come on and, and on, uh, on our own website on our own website we had the same people they were double booked Amen. Come Amen. on. Praise the Lord. It's getting it three times. Thank in. you guys for watching. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we love you. And we will see you again next week. It is going to be awesome Absolutely. on the Grace Podcast. Remember, on Sunday, we're meeting. And uh, it's strictly by uh, registration because the limit at the moment uh, is 50. So please be sure to register. You can register every Sunday at 6 p.m. So you can set a reminder and uh, make sure you register. I mean, last Sunday was crazy for me. 
uh, I'd completely forgotten. I only remembered at about three past six. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I snapped out. I, I had a fright. And yeah. I said, man, I need to go register. And yeah. by the time I went, I think there were about 17 yeah. seats left. And I had Absolutely. to register both you and me, a responsible husband. And I registered myself. And by the time I tried to register you, uh -huh. we only had about eight seats. We need to and I was mother. thinking, man, this could have been, I'm playing with fire here. <laughs> I'll give you a I would have left We you. need to set a reminder on our cell phones. <laughs> Open 48 seats, then you register. Oh, oh man, that's <laughs> cheating. We also have to be a part of the 50. But you are registered. Because no, no. you, what are you going to do? You're going to send in a video cast if you can't. I you can know, preach from home. I would love that. You know, while to. having breakfast. He might you have know, to. just, hey, good morning, thank <laughs> you, church. But if I couldn't you get a seat, <laughs> but, but I'm if right you here. you don't get a seat, we are still um, uh, live streaming online. We want to encourage everyone to watch on our website. Come and on. our website is faithhillchurch.co.za. So we want to encourage you all. Let's make, let's flock on over to our website, yes. okay? But if you're not on our website, we're also on Facebook and we're also absolutely on our YouTube. YouTube channel. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, thank you for joining us. Is there any other announcement? I life groups. Life groups tomorrow. Please tomorrow be sure 7 you join. PM. If you're not part of a life group, drop us an email at admin at faithfulchurch.co.za. We love you. God bless love you. you. See you next week. Bye-bye.